हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू क्रिएट एंड अपलोड विंडोज कॉर्पोरेट डिवाइस आइडेंटिफायर मैन्युअली इन द इंट्यून पोर्टल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डेमोस्ट्रेट हाउ टू ऑटोमेट द अपलोड ऑफ विंडोज कॉर्पोरेट डिवाइस आइडेंटिफायर इन इंट्यून यूजिंग द पावर शेल by providing serial number in the text file we can save time and efforts making this process more efficient see how we can do this see that i am on my intune portal and if you go to the devices go to the enrollments and if we click the corporate device identifier we can see that we have zero item because we have not uploaded corporate device identifier in intune portal and if we go to the devices that we have 20 devices in the intune portal now let's see how we can use powershell to upload the identifier based on the serial load the powershell script and i have already downloaded the powershell script in my download folder and i will provide the link in the description section let me open this powershell script in powershell isc and in the script we have to update the user input section so we have to create a serial number dot txt file and the path is c temp serial dot txt so let me create a text file in c drive and under c drive we have to create a folder called temp and then we have to create a notepad file the name serial number and in the text document we have to provide the serial number for which we want to upload the windows corporate device identifier so let me open the text file and then we have to go to the intune portal click on the devices and then we have to find the device for which we want to upload the corporate device identifier let me quickly select the device and then we have to go to the property and this is the serial number for which i want to upload the corporate device identifier so i am going to upload it and at the same time i am also creating some dummy serial number so this is the valid serial number and other three are actual the fake serial number so let me save this file now that's all we have to do in this script and then when we are executing this script this script is going to install and import the required module like microsoft graph device management module and microsoft graph beta device management module if it is not already installed and then it is going to connect the mg graph using the device management service config.retry.all permission and then it is going to export the required information to create the csv file and then it will automatically upload the windows corporate device identifier in intune portal so let me select all and execute this script we can see that it's saying that microsoft graph device management module is not installed so that is why it is going to install that module first now we can see that both the module inputted successfully and we have to connect the microsoft graph with the username and password let me provide the password now we can see that script executed successfully we can see that connected to microsoft graph successfully read four serial number from the file because in our file we have four serial numbers and querying for all the devices and we can see that retrieving 20 devices from the microsoft graph and uploading the device identity for text of one because this is the real device for which we want to upload the serial number and we can also see that device identity for desktop gkbp double l g uploaded successfully and the three devices which we created as a fake devices 
is not found in the database and in the overall summary we can see that out of four devices present in the notepad file one up device serial number uploaded successfully and the three device not found in the database or in the intune portal and if we go to the intune portal again go to the enrollments and if we click on the corporate device identifier we can see that the one device identifier with the serial number uploaded successfully so this way we can upload the corporate device identifier in bulk based on the serial number i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video